بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله it's important to have time to reflect and ponder over the Quran and ponder and reflect over Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation, the vastness and beauty and the bounties that Allah has bestowed upon us. Imam Anoui entitled a chapter in his book, uh, in his book Riyadh al-Salihin, he entitled it, Pondering Over the Great Creation of Allah, the passing away of the life of the world, the horrors of the day of requital and laxity of one's nafs. And then he began with a verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I exhort you to one thing, that you stand up for Allah's sake in pairs and singly, and reflect and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al kareem Verily in the creation of the heavens and the earth and in the alternation of night and day there are indeed signs for men of understanding. Those who remember Allah always and in prayer standing, sitting, lying down on their sides and think deeply about the creation of the heavens and earth saying, Our Lord you have not created all of this without purpose. Glory be to you. Ahabatifillah, those verses, the shahid, and for why Imam Manoui put those under that title or that chapter heading, was that it's an exhortion those verses exhort us to reflect, to reflect upon the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as we mentioned before, that ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are two. There are ayat or verses in the Quran, of course, and we're all familiar with that. And then there are ayat koniya. So the ayat shari'ya, those are the, that is talking about the Quran. And then the ayat koniya is talking about the creation. The fact that we see the cold river water going in this direction. The fact that we see the, the beauty that is contained all around us and that the air is fresh and that it's moist in the air and moist on the ground and there's snow in some parts and some parts there isn't. All of this is the ayat koniya for us to reflect upon, for us to look and see that in the night and the day, that there are, this is a reflection and evidence that our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala exists, that this creation is greater than us, and greater than that is the creator of this creation. So, Allah, it's imperative that we make use of the ayat, the various signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us in His creation, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who reflect and those who benefit from our time and not those who destroy wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam